Hey guys, welcome back. So I am recording today on a DSLR, so hopefully it looks and sounds a little better than my uh, last bunch of videos. I don't even know how many. Um, so anyway, let's get to the point. Today, I am doing some last minute fixes on my current C3PO because my new 3PO, which if you've been following my video, is this close to being ready. It's literally base coated and ready to be chromed, but I have a thing tomorrow that I need the droid for and I don't have time to chrome the new suit. So I got to do some fixes to the old one. Now I've had the suit for a really long time. I bought this. This is the TK409 suit, which uh, it's made in the Philippines. It's not made by the person who sells them, by the way. Made in the Philippines. And overall, the fiberglass work on these is really good. It's it's light, it's thin, it's got enough flex. It's it's really well done. Um, and I give credit where credit's due. As inaccurate as this is, the fiberglass is done well, except for the shoulder rings. Now the shoulder rings are, it feels like they're just gel coated in the inside, and then there's cardboard, and then they're closed up, and they have broken. Both of my shoulder rings have broken multiple times. I've fixed them. I've got these little metal plates in there with screws. They're just not sturdy. And I have this thing tomorrow and I'm worried that they're not going to hold up. So I am going to replace them with these 3D printed shoulder rings. Now I didn't want to take the time to make a rotating thing. This is kind of an emergency fix. So smooth. There goes my phone. Sorry guys. Um, so I just made a direct replacement. It's a single piece shoulder ring just to directly replace the existing shoulder rings and I took a few cues from the rotating ones that I've been working on and I've made them so that they attach with zip ties so I've got the holes through here where they will mount to the, to the actual torso and then the top strap that goes into the shoulder bell itself is all held together with screws this is also going to zip tie in place which is going to be really handy so I'll show you how I did this. Um, I made this little block. I don't even know if I'm in focus here because I think I've autofocus turned off on the DSLR. Yay! Um, and this block has a little channel in the bottom where a zip tie. I made this for these like, what is this, six inch zip ties? Let me see. Yeah, these are the little six inch thin zip ties is what I made this for. However, this four inch zip ties will also work. The zip tie will go through the shoulder here on the bottom up through the top and then through the little block and there's a little channel in here and then the zip tie will feed through and then it goes back down through and there's a little cutaway on the inside here so that the uh, I don't know what you call this the buckle of the zip tie basically hides up inside this little notch so once it's all uh, cinched up shut Nothing sticks out, there's no sharp edges, and it's basically like an invisible connector, which is really cool. Uh, I did the same thing for the sides here too. So instead of the, the buckle, I'm gonna call it the buckle of the zip tie. So instead of the, the buckle of the zip tie sticking out on the inside of the suit, like it does on my new one, which by the way, doesn't affect wearing it at all. It looks like it would, but it doesn't. Um, this one loops all the way through and connects on the outside of the suit. So if this is a shoulder ring like this, uh, the actual connector is on the outside and it sits in these divots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one installed. And you can see there's only connectors on half because this is intended to be set up how I set my suit up where there's one shoulder ring on the front and uh, on the front of the torso and one shoulder ring connected to the back of the torso, which is how they did the movie suits. I think it's a, a really cool design so I, I kind of want to keep that. Um, I'm gonna line this up right now so that the shoulders are basically lined up where they're supposed to go i'm just going to clamp it so it doesn't roll around too easily if i can and this is uh not clamping it super tight it's giving me enough so i can move this around just a little bit and then cinch it down so it doesn't slip on me and i'm taking my little drill bit here and i'm going to just uh, drill some, some little starter holes into the fiberglass. And it's funny because the, uh, the existing holes are actually sort of close. Um, 
I'll go around and get all these these in place here. And you can see how this is going to go. Now, for this event, I am not I'm not terribly worried about uh, everything being perfect, so I'm not going to chrome these. I am going to wrap them with the 3M gold wrap. I'm going to do a quick layer of, of paint. I don't even know if I'm going to paint them. I think I'm just going to leave the gray. I'm just going to wrap them. I'm not even going to paint them first. And that's just how it's going to be. But what I'm going to do is connect the, the 3M gold wrap. Um, there we go. I'm going to connect the 3M gold wrap where the, uh, the top connector goes through. So there we go. I've drilled new holes in the side of the suit. And I'll just do an example one here. I'm not going to do a permanent hookup, just so you can see how this goes. So we have our, our uh, zip ties. These are a little small. They go through the outside here. And the same thing, I have a little extra size cut out there where the, um, the buckle of the zip tie will go. And then this goes through the new hole I just drilled. Back out through the, the back here. And this is a four inch zip tie. This would be easier with the six inch zip tie, which is what it's made for. Line it up. And push it through. And then the zip tie closes. Like so. And again, the buckle of zip tie sits down in that hole. All nice and clean. And you just snip off the excess. So I don't know if this is going to show up in camera. Hopefully it's not too blurry. It's right here. And then you snip off the excess. And now, uh, once those are all in place, the shoulder is attached. And what I like about this is it's a stronger connection than the screws. It essentially, um, connection-wise, is like having eight screws instead of four, which I used to have. So that's going to be sturdier and they're easier to swap if something breaks on the fly i can throw a new zip tie in i can print a couple extra of these and have them in my kit if i need it uh, and it's going to be great so anyway i just thought i'd show those i'm going to post these on thingiverse probably today and get these up there for you uh, once this is done i'll show the uh in another video i'll show them up finished up so you can see them but uh they should work great direct replacement now one thing to note is if you look at them, they look wider. They're actually almost a millimeter narrower than the old ones, but because they're squared off, it kind of gives the impression that they're wider, uh, but they're not. So that's cool. I'll have some pictures of these things all finished up uh, soon. Maybe I'll get a little extra video to finish this out, but let's pretend I'm not going to. So uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you guys soon. God, what's with me saying the same words multiple times in the same sentences? I don't know. Anyway, one take wonder. Yay, see you guys soon. Bye.